that she just saw a head pop out from the engine. And then she looked closely again and she said, oh, I might be a snake. And then the cabin crew came around. Everyone sat at the window and sure enough, you can see him moving around trying to go back into the wing of the aircraft, you know, back in, back in the cabin. Uh, the two cabin crew ladies, they were quite surprised as well. Everyone was just, but everyone was just amazed that this thing hung on. I feel sorry for the snake because he's, now his body's come out. Now he's, he's still like done a U-turn, so he's half his body's out, and then he's wrapped around something, and then the rest of his body's come around the other end. So his head now is banging against the side of the, the engine. It was quite, it was sad, really. It was sad. You can see, you can see him slowly. And it was banging up against the side of the aircraft, the side of the engine. And you can still see as it was hanging on, he's trying to pull himself back in. Now as we're coming into Port Moresby, and still he's trying to pull himself in, we couldn't believe it. So now he's going through minus 12 degrees temperatures, and that, you know, 400 k's an hour, and he's still trying to pull himself in.